Hello everyone. Today I wanted to make a video showcasing what I use for programming and I'm basically gonna, basically going to show you my setup and I'm going to start with the computer. The case that you see in front of you is a Corsair Carbride 330R Blackout Edition and it's supposed to be very soundproof. Uh, so let's start off with the top. You can actually remove this one. And there is all the hardware and stuff. And it's got like this sort of soft material inside to keep the sound out. Uh, yeah. And also the front can be opened as well. Forgot some. I think you just do it like that. So yeah. So that's the front. And also, as you can see, we've got two USB ports. I think they are three three point zero. And we've got one headphone jack and one microphone jack. And one reboot button and a boot button. And here you can see some other stuff. Um, here is like jacks for the old types of uh, mouse and keyboard and we've got a DVI jack here an HDMI uh, I'm not quite sure what that one is we got two USB 3.1 jacks um, and we got, I think these are USB 2.1, and also we got uh, Ethernet uh, jack over here. And then we got some stuff down here, the usual stuff, microphone, headphone stuff, and then we got some HDMI right here. Uh, and also uh, another DVI, but this is this is for the graphics card, which we'll talk about later. So yeah, and also we got some another fan here. Uh, there was one in the front as well, and there is also one in the bottom, I think. So let's let's turn this over and look at the button. There we go, and now you can see the button of the. Of the case of the computer and as you can see there is like a removable plastic thing uh, which keeps the fan here from getting dusty which is really nice so yeah let's put that back on cool so now we're gonna go and talk about the hardware so let's look at the hardware of my computer. Let's start off with the power supply and it's this one is a Corsair RM750i 750 watt PCU. It's really nice, um, that's all I can say. And I have an Intel Core i7 6700 Skylake processor and the graphics card is uh, an MSI GeForce GTX 960 4 gigabytes. It's also very nice. I don't do a lot of gaming, so it's it's enough for me. Uh, so yeah, and also I got an SSD right there. And that one is in Kingston UV 300-240 gigabytes. It's also very nice. Most of the stuff in here is very nice. So yeah. And I got 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's a crucial DDR4 2133 megahertz. And it's basically two sets uh, there's two 8 gigabytes, so 
that makes up for 16. And the motherboard is an Asus C170P socket 1151. This is my keyboard and it's the one I use every day. And it's a, the keyboard is called po Poker. Uh, and the E is replaced with three. Um, and it's the Vortex model. It's a mechanical keyboard with blue cherry switches. And it just feels very nice to type on it. Um, the mouse. This is the mouse that I use. And it's nothing special, really. Um, it's a Plex Gear mouse. And yeah, I. I don't really need a fancy mouse because um, I don't, as I said before, I don't play a lot of games. So this mouse works fine for me. Uh, it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, yeah. This is the microphone that I use. Not really for programming, but I do use it for other things, such as recording videos. It's a Blue Jetty microphone. Uh, I don't remember the exact model or anything like that, but because it was some, it was a while ago uh, since I ordered this one. But it's really nice and it does the job. So yeah, this is the display that I use. It's an Asus display, and that's pretty much all I can say about it because I don't remember the specifics. Hello again, and now I'm in my computer, and now I want to show you what I use, uh, what operating system I use, what text editor I use, and things like that. Um, I'm using Arch Linux, that is my uh, the, the operating system that I'm using. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's Linux, and I use i3 GAPS, uh, as a, uh, as a window manager and right now I am at an empty uh, workspace I can switch workspace by pressing the uh, function key and no, uh, the numbers on my uh, keyboard um, so yeah, the browser that I use is Chromium. Uh, it's like a, a variant variant of Chrome. Uh, it, it is Chrome, but for Linux, I would say. So yeah. So now let's get to the text editor. Uh, first off, let me open up the terminal, just like that. One thing I really like about i3 is the I can open up terminals very easily and they will never overlap each other. Like programs will never overlap each other uh, on this, uh, if you use this window manager. And also I can open uh, terminals like that as well. But yeah, let's close those and go to the text, open up my text editor. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to a random project here. Let's go to my, JavaScript library that I wrote. Uh, there we go. And the text editor I'm using is called uh, Vim, but I'm using GVim, uh, which is a graphical variant of it. So yeah, this is the text editor that I use, and I use a plugin called NerdTree to get this, uh, show the files of the project to the left. Uh, I really like this text editor. It's, I think it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I do. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, so yeah, this is the text editor I use and let's look at the plugins I use for the text editor. Uh, so if I do, There we go. So I'm using Vandal uh, for plugin management. 
and I use some other candy. Um, the theme I use is Grivebox. It's really nice. I use I did use Lucius before, but not anymore. Uh, so yeah, and I use some other uh, like Syntastic to get syntax correction and stuff. I think that's what it's for. It might be syntax highlighting. I'm not sure. Uh, it was some, quite some time ago that I wrote this configuration file. But uh, Vim comes with a configuration file that you can change everything. It's really cool. And every, basically everything is configurable. So yeah. That's basically my setup. Uh, Arch Linux with uh, i3 gaps. And I love it. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, and I hope to see you soon.